Welcome back to Lost in the Americas. We're ready for an episode chock full of beautiful landscapes, sand, sand, and more sand. Let's go. Starting off from where I left you last time, we left the Sacred Valley and started driving upwards towards the border with Ecuador. Driving and driving, then wait, what is that? We were in the middle of sand dunes, stretching as far as the eye could see. A haze of blinding reflections of light, and mounds falling into graceful valleys, when the magical, never-ending landscape was cut into two. A body of water? An oasis! in the middle of the dry Peruvian desert. We had found it, the Huacachina Oasis. And of course, water brings life. The patch of trees surrounding the oasis was a shocking green, and a small village was clustered around it. Of course we had to stop and enjoy. But that wasn't the only thing that made our stay in the Huacachina magical. The sand dunes were impressively hot but all the uncomfort was wiped away by the sheer beauty. An endless rug of golden sand was stretched out in front of you, making you feel like a little ant making barely an imprint as you rolled around to the dips and trudged on the peaks. Wakachina was incredible, a paradise with nobody else. Just us and the sand and sun. More sand and sun awaited us further north, so we set off again. On the way to the coast, the road wasn't all boring, straight pavement. Far from that. This is Cañón del Pato, one of the most exciting and nerve-wracking roads in the world. 35 tunnels, sharp turns, narrow road, and a sheer drop off inches from the car's tires. This road is a test for the boldest. Okay, I'm making it sound very bad. But wait, there's a little thing I forgot to mention. The view. Lush, overgrown vegetation popping out from way down below, and beautiful stone walls mixed with an incredible sense of adventure make this road worth it. Of course, only with a very able driver and going very slow to not accidentally crash into the big trucks, somehow squeezing their way through. Well done, Dad. Finally, after holding our breaths a lot and bracing ourselves, Cañón del Pato was left behind, leaving us with overall good memories. We reached our destination after more driving, the Peruvian coast. A small town on the coast called Sorritos hosted a beautiful sandy beach, perfect for spending some relaxed time by the pool. Oh, and we met some little crab friends along the way. Isn't he cute? And so curious but it gave us some spectacular sunsets. The sun setting into the ocean. This is the best time to take a walk by the shore and gaze into the never-ending body of water, teeming with life and creatures we can't see. Thank you, Peru, for everything. You'll always have a place in my heart. From quarantine to the sacred valley to the beach, you gave us some experiences we'll absolutely never forget. You're my home for eight months, and I'll be very sad to say goodbye. But Ecuador waits with open arms, ready to offer us new adventures. So I'll see you next time in Ecuador with quaint towns and majestic mountains. So much more awaits. Until then, bye-bye.